G'day, it's Rob here again. It's a cold, wet and windy day in Adelaide and can't do much, but uh, I'm down in the workshop and I'm playing around with this Stirling engine that uh, I'm trying to build up from some leftover parts from a couple of flame lickers. Well, I've been crunching a few numbers to get the displacer volume and the uh, power piston volumes at the correct uh, percentages and I started off and if you look at the back you can see that the power piston diameter was too big that this was the bore from the flame liquor that was too big I'm experimenting with this so you know it's, it's a work in progress so then I sleeved it down with stainless steel and it still wasn't right so I've had to drop it down again and I've got a bronze bush in there now Loctite it in pressed in and Loctite it in and that is supposed to be symmetrical but it's actually uh, slightly tight on this end and it could be from me pushing it in when I pressed it in it might have just bell mouth just slightly I'm not sure so and what I've got to do now is I've got to run it through with the TPG the tool post grinder and uh, uh, I'd previously used it on the stainless steel, did a fantastic job. So, yeah, I've got an old uh, wall down which I bought for like a hundred bucks at a flea market years ago, which is pretty good because they normally go for about five or six hundred bucks. And I'm going to run a small stone up through the guts of this. I'll do it wet. Now, when you're grinding, if you're ever using a TPG and you want to get a fine finish, always do it wet that will keep the stone also from clogging up if you're using it on soft stuff like bronze which is you know not really what you ought to be doing a reamer would be better but I haven't got a reamer this size so it's TPG or nothing and um, TPG will be good enough so yeah I'll set it up and we'll get on with it this is a wall down uh, zero one it's the smallest one they make it's on a 10 inch lathe it's really just a tiny bit too too big as far as center line height goes using the sand, standard uh, compound so i've just made up a, a mounting block that it fits on and uh, i use that so this is the standard configuration you know you would normally use so what we have to do is we have to change change out the spindle because this is external spindle, this is doing external grinds and we'll put a long thin one in that comes out for internal work and uh, it's a bit of mucking around, you have to take off the belt you have to take off the, the pulley uh, both ends on the external one because the shaft comes out this way, it can only come out one way with the internal one it, it comes in from this end and it's got a much smaller pulley smaller than the actual diameter of the tube so that's easy to get in and out but this one you've got to take off the cover take off both ends it's a keyway on here and uh, it's a bit of mucking around anyway I'll come back when I've done that so here it is with the uh, internal spindle in it or quill whatever you want to call it this is the smallest diameter stone I've got and the wall down 01 in fact a lot of the wall downs are basically clones of the Jumore, American Jumore so you know there's no surprises here it's just a matter of now I've put the job in the chuck and uh, do the job this is where a carriage a cross slide lock is important because you don't want any float in and out, in and out. otherwise it will mess up your job so you, you basically uh, want to lock everything down when you do your grind as I said we'll do it wet with a bit of bit of uh, Kero engine oil mix shouldn't be an issue, you'll only need a skim off so this should be a pretty quick job yeah I'll mount the job Okay, we're all ready to go. Got the job in there. Now, when you grind, 
try and kick the crap out of the truck if you can. And I always stuff some good old toilet paper down the, the bore of the chuck and that will stop a lot of it going uh, into the, uh, the innards. I'll have to clean the chuck up afterwards as well because, you know, grinding stuff gets everywhere. I'll put some paper here before I get going. So I've got a cover here to stop it getting down onto the, uh, the cross slide thread. In fact, I use this idea quite often and it stops the shit going in there. So, get the paper in, I'll get it in position, set it, lock it on the cross slide. And then we'll get on with it. When you do this, you go a lot on sound. You uh, are dealing with very fine increments here, so generally I'll fire it up and then adjust it, bring it back so it just kisses the job and you hear it uh, pouring with rain again now. You would hear it um, just touching the job, you know that's where you lock it down. To try and do it with uh, readouts is pretty much impossible because you, there's such a fine tolerance here and uh, yeah your best bet is just use your uh, your hearing and uh, go on that. It shouldn't need much really so I'll, uh, I'll put the camera up the back and we can get a close look.
You can see here it's uh, got a bit to do there. You can tell by the sound also whether it's grinding constantly or whether it's, it's only touching in certain places. Normally I would use Sharpie, put some texture pen in there and that way you can see looking in where it's grinding any Sharpie that's uh, in depressions will stay there so that's a good indicator on how the grinding is going. Uh, more rain, we'll just have to put up with that. Uh, in this case I can't get a Sharpie in there to do the job so I'll just have to go on sound but you'll hear it when it's still got a way to go you'll hear that pulsing noise as it's grinding, not grinding, grinding, not grinding. So when that's it's all stopped we'll know that uh, and it's a constant sound all the way through we know that uh, the job's done. You've worked your stone in both directions Okay, now that should be it, I think. You can see I was moving the in and out fairly, fairly fast. Don't go too slowly or you'll get uneven grind. You want to move it in and out as you're doing very, very light cuts. Extremely, you know, just kissing it. Um, speed won't matter. Faster is better because otherwise you'll find it will wear the stone and the job un unevenly. You could get a taper, so keep it moving in and out and uh, yeah, I'll put a bit of tissue up there and we'll see what it looks like. I think it should be pretty good. You can hear by the sound that it was uh, it had evened right out so it's a good sign. Oh, that was pretty good to me. So there you go, perfect job. And here's the finished job. That looks uh, pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> it's come out really nice. So uh, now we're all ready to just make up a, a piston to size and uh, yep, I can get on with the job. All right, that's it from me. See you next time. Cheers.